First penalty for Argentina was against Saudi Arabia. Messi sends the ball in, and Leandro Pérez is brought down by a Saudi player. This is a tricky call because Pérez was fouled inside the box, however it most likely wouldn't have affected the flow of play. This was a very soft penalty to give. Question mark for this penalty, as you can argue for both sides. Next penalty was against Poland. Szczerny unintentionally hit Messi in the face after Messi tries to head the ball. This was definitely not a penalty, as Messi already headed the ball before the foul, and it was unintentional as Szczerny was trying to palm it away. No penalty and the referee made a mistake. Next penalty was against the Netherlands. Akuna was fouled inside the box by Dumfries. This was a clear dive from Akuna, as there was pretty much no contact between the two players, no penalty and another referee mistake. Next penalty is against Croatia. This is probably the most controversial penalty of the tournament. Alvarez was through on a one-on-one, -on -one, taps the ball up and tries to get past Livakovic but is stopped by Livakovic's leg and fouled. You can argue Livakovic stopped Alvarez from a goal-scoring opportunity, however you can also argue it was Alvarez who ran into Livakovic, or he wouldn't have gotten past the keeper. In my opinion this was a penalty, but a very soft one. In the end Livakovic still stopped Alvarez from a potential scoring opportunity, however this really could have gone both ways. The last penalty was against France. Di Maria got past Dembele and got into the box, however he was bumped and tripped by Dembele from behind. This was a penalty as there was a lot of contact between the two players, and the referee made the correct decision.